Welcome back to another episode with PixelWeb. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to a WordPress plugin that helps you add uh, custom CSS to your WordPress website. Now, you might think to yourself, you could always just change the CSS by going to Appearance and going to the Editor. And in the Active Theme, you can change the uh, CSS here. But there's a problem with that. Um, if the original theme author updates uh, the theme, then you're going to lose your code. You could always create a child theme, but you know that's a little bit more involved, and you may not want to have to worry about that. So uh, let's introduce you to the plugin. You're going to go to Plugins, and then Add New. And then you're going to type in the search field here, Simple Custom CSS. From here, what you're going to be presented with is this first plugin. Uh, you can see it has uh, five star reviews and 114 reviews, 300,000 plus active installs, and it's a very popular plugin. So we're going to click on install now. Once you install it, you'll activate the plugin. And then you can click on the Add CSS here, or you can go here to the Appearance, come down to Custom CSS. Now, here is where you'll enter your information. So if you want to uh, create a new uh, snippet of uh, CSS code, you would just enter it here and just update it with the Update Custom CSS button. So let's demo this out for a second. Let's create a body um, style here. We're going to put in a background. What I like about this is it has syntax highlighting. So it shows you here that you haven't completed a proper um, CSS property. So let's put background color. And then we're just going to do something simple like make it black okay so you see what we did here you put the body selector and then you put in the opening and closing curly braces background dash color and then we put in the color there so you just click on the update custom CSS you will get the custom CSS updated successfully when you go to your website it updated properly so that's pretty much it. It's a very user-friendly plugin. Uh, not too many, many settings. You just activate it, and then you can find it right there in the custom CSS um, link right there in the left-hand sidebar. It's very popular. It's very useful. And I think you'll find it easier than creating a child theme or having to worry about theme updates from the author. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to subscribe because we will be presenting more tutorials on managing your WordPress-powered website. Thank you and take care.